Hello guys, welcome to a brand new vlog, including the husband, who is right here today with me. It is Saturday, it is a really lovely spring day today and it's just sort of really uplifting my mood. We've also just had a delivery of a gorgeous box of deli style foods from Bite Around the World, they've just delivered, so I'm really looking forward to dinner now and I'll show you that later. But in the meantime, I have had a delivery of a box of beautiful new clothing for like the spring summer and a few new outfits. So I thought it would be kind of nice and a little bit different to bring Alex in and show him a few of these outfits and he can kind of rate them on how much he really loves them or how much he thinks that they suit me or flatter me. Because quite often it's just me talking through outfits and I know now and again when Alex gives his opinions you're all quite like, hmm, quite interesting opinions from Alex. I thought that would be kind of nice. This also is an integrated paid for advertorial with Louise Via Roma. I've collaborated with Louise Via Roma and shopped with them for years and years. So it's really exciting for me to show you some of their latest pieces in their sustainable collection. They've just kind of rounded up loads of beautiful pieces into their sustainable collection on the website. I just want to make a point here as well on the offset of this that I know a few weeks ago I made a comment that said I would not be doing haul after haul after haul. I unfortunately think that some people took that completely the wrong way of how I meant it because I also said in the same few sentences that I'm not exempt from doing hauls. This is still my career and I will still be continuing to work with the incredible brands that I do and the retailers. I said that exact same thing and this is one of those amazing collaborations that I can be a part of so I'm really proud to be part of it. I'm not going to be keeping all of these clothes hence why I want to bring Alex in to kind of have a look at them, show you guys the sustainable pieces and try them on together. I've got a few things here laid out on the spare bedroom bed just so I can um, try on in here and then go into Alex and then hopefully you'll be like wow babe Banshee is so lovely. I mean to be fair he is great and he's always very complimentary but I'm quite intrigued as to what he thinks I should keep um, or what I maybe need in my wardrobe so yeah let me try on the first look. I think I might go with this one first because I'm quite excited about this. Are you ready husband? Okay, I'm gonna go try on my first outfit and then I want you to be really honest about what you think. Outfit one. Ooh, I like it. So this is a really sweet knit, cream knit with tortoiseshell buttons. So lovely and stretchy, I can just sort of do it like this if I'm not wearing a bra. So it's this kind of vibe. Feel how soft it is. Ooh, your bum looks really good, good in it. Does it? Yeah, it does. Everything I'm going to be showing you, just so I don't have to say it over and over, are in the sustainable collection or else I'm going to be like, it's sustainable, it's sustainable. So I'm just telling you now, everything is sustainable, I'm going to show you guys. In the shorts, they're quite, they're quite tight. They do look a little bit teat. They look a little bit too teat for me. If, if I had a better bulb, I'd probably, it'd probably look more, even more flattering. What I quite liked about these is that they're longer on the back. Hmm. Um, which I like because I like to cover up this area of my thighs um, and they're a bit short on the front so they're more of a mini I think they are a bit tight okay. they're a bit tight and I'm not sure if the style is very me actually putting them on I think they're a bit too trendy for me no I think they're cool I think you can pull them off definitely do you so really? They might be a bit tight. thanks babe like, yeah they'd be good for festival they're lives. very California like Coachella kind of yeah yeah and then the shoes these are a pair of castanier wedges and these are part of their their ethical collection because not all of them are sustainable but these are in the LVR sustainable range. What do you think of these? I really like them. They're really nice aren't they? Yeah they'd be great for a holiday if we went on one this year. Lovely colours too aren't they? Like the beiges and the mixture of like mm. of colours and things. Yeah I really like it. What should we keep and what should we not? Send the shorts to? back, keep the top and keep the shoes. Yeah? I reckon so yeah. Just so you can see. How lovely this knit is. And the shorts are a gorgeous blue. And then my, oh I can't even lift up my leg. These are the shoes. Also, I, I was gonna say before, I was just thinking about this then when I was getting changed. I also just wanna mention here, it really doesn't matter what other people think about your clothes and most of the time I don't even ask Alex's opinion before I wear things and go, oh by the way I got this, do you like it? And even if he doesn't like it, I'm like, well I do. Um, I just, look at the things I'm wearing, I can't say anything. <laughs> I know, I just want to make sure that everyone realises that your style doesn't have to be dictated by anybody and you can wear whatever you want if you feel amazing in it. I just want Hell yeah. 
I just want to make sure that that is made clear and this isn't me saying that I am dictated to by my husband because that is <laughs> most definitely not the case. Outfit two, a little bit different. Ooh. Whoa. Dun dun, slinky little number. What do you think? It's cool, yeah. Isn't it gorgeous, that fabric? Look at the way it's like shining in the sunlight. I hope that's picking that's up. That's going to be fun to shoot. Yeah, I thought that you'd love this for a photo shoot. Like this with no shoes on. Yeah. Like barefoot. It's very like beach esque you could do like running, like the way it splits that like, you could run yeah, and get some rhythm. Like a gorgeous head. running shot. Like. Mm. Dun, 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 yeah. So the reason I picked this up was first of all it's Stella McCartney and I adore Stella McCartney. Um probably one of the most notable sustainable brands. Um but I thought for anyone who's having a birthday while they're in at the moment and they want a more special dress that would be appropriate kind of in the house and for mm. outside to have like a little patio party with their families. This is stunning. Oh, it's 38. Oh, that's why. Okay, yeah, it's two sizes too big. I'm usually 34, Italian. I just think it will be so beautiful. Oh, it's got little pockets. Got little pockets down here in the skirt bit. Yeah, so again, just to show you guys. Do you know what, I'm gonna pick this up, I can put it back. I just want to show you properly in the light how beautiful. Look at that fabric, how it's shining. Look number three, this is a whole lot. I like those sunglass holders. How cool are these on the set? I've never ever had any of these and these I are them. badass. You're going to be stealing these off me, I can tell. I think they're really cool. Ooh. That's cool, I like that. It's like a big necklace. Yeah, really cool. Really they're like awesome, that. aren't they? I like this whole lab actually. I do! Yeah, this is great. God, I was like, why can I see myself so well? It's because I'm wearing my prescription sunnies. <laughs> Let me put them back. Oh, there. Um, no, I'll put them here. It's like a big necklace thing. Where do I start with this? So, yeah, these sunglass holders. Really cool. They're almost like a tortoise based beige tortoise shell. And they go a bit thicker around the back and thinner towards where you strap them onto. And it's just literally like little plastic hooks around. How nice is that back? Yeah, I really like it. Obviously, guys, by the way, just well, I mean, it's probably obvious, but I'm leaving all the tags on because we're deciding what to keep and what not to. I can't take the tags off, just so you know, but hopefully, you can see how cool, like. It's almost like latticing and crisscrossing on the back. Really nice. It's a full bodysuit, it goes around into little poppers underneath. And it's a lovely stretchy knit, but it's a great beige tone, isn't it? Mm. What do you think of this? I really like it. I, I like, like the whole look. I like everything, the shorts, the shoes. Yeah. The whole shebang, I think this is a winner, this one. Definitely. It's like really the, easy to wear, isn't it? The these well. are gorgeous. I love these so much. Elasticated band here so even without this belt to it it feels secure and like really lovely and tapered in but then this adds just that extra detail so you can pull it in they're a really sophisticated length not too long not too short aren't they i really like them everything by the way guys will be listed down below in like the outfits so it's super easy to shop and then we've got the shoes i hope you guys can see the shoes a pair of stella mccartney espadrilles and they've got this obviously faux leather upper they feel like really good quality don't they yeah they do they feel amazing quality and they're just a really wearable shade i like stella though i think her stuff's really cool i do she's got it she's by far one of my favorite designers by far yeah she's awesome mm -hmm. some more eyes got it just say stella mccartney up, up top um in a laser cutout simple easy shoe but that kind of thing you can throw on perfect for when we get out of this and we're back to our normal work and it's summer pull them down a bit you always have your glasses right stuck against your face didn't realize it was balls against <laughs> just pull it down a bit. They, just, they just look a bit more flattering shades feel like i'm down. like an old teacher after that i use some as well so we can go around together <laughs> show you just a little bit more in the sunlight just to definitely show you color and textures so this knit and then these are the shorts you can see that they're lovely in the light this gorgeous ribbed effect knit. Look number four. Quite cash. Yeah, quite cash and cool now. Mmm, like the jeans. Aren't they a lovely colour of blue? Yeah, like bleach. Bleach vibe. And then a straight leg, which is a little bit different. Like some little heels, super cute. And you could, oh god, my back. I feel like a 70 year old woman sometimes with my back. That's quite cute actually with the roll. 
Yeah, I like that actually. I like that more, rolled up a little. <coughs> so this body is actually a swimsuit, but I thought it'd be kind of nice to see how it looks as a more of a little top. It's cool. Swimwear to spring wear. Mm-hmm. And this very elasticated, very lycra look, smooth top is really in right now. The fact that the way it just comes around the edges of the back, it's really nice. Yeah. And then what do you think of the jeans then? You like the jeans? I really like the jeans, they're my favourite bit of the outfit. Yeah, the jeans are lovely, this like seam here, mm -hmm. high-waisted, they fit really nice. I'd keep them both. You would? I mean, it's, it's a cool, like, um... Swimsuit. Which do you prefer over the, the last bodysuit in this one? I like the back on the other one. That beige is such a lovely tone, isn't mm. it? We'll go with everything. Okay. Jeans are cool though. So let me show you guys in the light a little better. I'm obsessed with these sunglasses. I was wearing them so that you don't steal them off me. Your sunglasses? That's fine because I only want the chain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeans are really gorgeous colour and I love the extra details on like the pockets makes them just feel a little bit more luxurious and elevated really. What do you think of this? Now this again is a swimsuit, hence why it's kind of low. This is a beautiful I really like this outfit. I really love these swimsuit. shorts. Yeah, really like that. Fit nice, don't they? Got a nice stretch to them as well, so they're comfortable. Mm -hmm. Quite nice on the bum. Cheeky cheeky. Great. I love the, the swimsuit as well. Swimsuit's beautiful, this design on it. Yeah. You just sling on a really lovely knit or light top yeah. where you can still see some of the details of it because mm -hmm. it's so pretty. But then you've also got it as a swimsuit for when you need it. Yeah, I mean, I love the shorts. I think the shorts are super wearable. You know, something like this. So yeah. show a bit of it without it being too booby. Mm -hmm. And then if it gets too hot, you can take this off and you've got a gorgeous little swim vibe under it. Yeah. <sighs> This with the shorts, also amazing. Yeah, yeah it's, a good, it's a good one, for like evenings as well, I guess. Yeah, this for like light evenings. Gorgeous. Beautiful cardigan that I'm obsessed with. Just to show you in the light, really, so you can see the gorgeous colours. Sorry, I know it's very booby right now, but look how pretty that patterning is. It feels really beautifully made. It's gorgeous. I just have two more things to show you to get your opinion on. I also picked up, again, a sustainable underwear label. Is that a bra or a bikini? This is a cute little bra. That's nice, I like the colour. This is very intimate, but just so you can see how cute this bra top is. Isn't that lovely? Isn't yeah, that I nice really like that. yeah, I really like that. Yeah, I really like that. It's really nice, it's actually quite... Oh, it does have some padding in it, some light padding, which is kind of nice, but there's no wiring. Beautiful. Yeah, really and nice. then it comes with this really pretty matching thong. Gorgeous. I think I'm just big time craving a holiday right now, so I've also picked up a little bikini. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, nice. I like it. And then how cute are these? I've got like frilliness. Frilliness? Along the edge of the, oh, yeah. of the bottoms. Yeah. And I like that they're this kind of like stretchy style, so they'll be really quite sexy on the bottoms. Obviously, sorry guys, I can't show you, but um, if you click on the link, you can go and see the model. The really gorgeous model wearing these, looking fabulous, but at least I can show you the top half. What do you think then? Mmm, really like it. But also if we do get a hot day and I'm able to maybe sit out and, you know, wear a bikini for a bit. Yeah. Then at least I've got a nice new pretty bikini to wear. Do you like it? Yeah, I really like it. I feel like you've liked everything I've shown you. Is there anything you really didn't like? I thought, I like the shorts, I just thought they were a bit teat and a bit um, festival-esque. But I like them though. Really yeah, cool. I agree. I'm um, not as keen on them. No, apart from that, that was it. Oh, well, I must have done well then. Thanks, babe. It's been really helpful. Hope so. Yeah. I think it has been. Good. Having Alex help me with this has actually been really quite helpful because otherwise I'd spend ages in the mirror going, I'm not sure, do I really need this? So I'm really quite impressed as well by Louis Aroma's collection of sustainable pieces. Everything's so like totally on trend, beautiful materials, really gorgeous selection of different brands. Right, we're now gonna go outside and do a photo shoot, aren't we? Let me know guys which outfit you liked, which pieces you liked the most. Honestly, I really take your opinion really seriously. So thank you as always. I'm now just sat here in a bikini top, so I better go change. I just love the light in this room. Mm, so dreamy. Oh, let me take down these cuppies. There are always like five different coffee cups in this bedroom. We're just about to eat our dinner. 
third cup en route. As we saw you guys, we've had our order from Bite Around the World delivered. Bless us guys, we came and dropped it off by hand. They're doing like a massive delivery session, like going for miles and miles around dropping off for people. Like they live nowhere near us and yet they, had, luckily they had a few other orders around here so it made it worth it. But I've ordered two of their granolas. These are five pound each and honestly, the most delicious granola I've ever tasted. It's like mango, dried um, banana chips, coconut chips, some chia seeds, some cinnamon, um, cashew nuts. It is just absolutely divine. I can't tell you how delicious this is. But they've also just started doing these like grazing platter boxes. So I ordered one of those as well. It was like 30 quid and they dropped it off. Here we go. So for 30 pound, they've dropped this off. How do I get into it? Can you get into it for me? <laughs> I can't do it with one hand. Oh my one goodness. Wow. Oh, it looks unbelievable, doesn't it? That's what I thought it was Gosh, it's stunning. Like chutneys, falafels. Been a bit naughty there with the Wensleydale, but they do do a box with loads of cheese in it as well. They also do meat boxes. There's dates in there and pistachios, walnuts, banana chips. It looks unbelievable, doesn't it? And then you also get... You get a whole load of crackers and things to eat this with. So it's just like a big grazing thing for the evening. Bottle of jam shed. A couple of beers. Right, bon appetit. Hi guys! So today we have a little photo shoot to do, hence this beautiful dress. This isn't even something to do, this is just what we want to spend our day doing actually. Um, this gorgeous dress is just too pretty not to take photos of so I wanted to create a bit of a, a retro feel in the kitchen so I thought I'd kind of show you behind the scenes of it. Alex has made me a strawberry milkshake so I'm going to see how we get on with this shoot. The kitchen's a bit of a mess because we've brought the big mirror downstairs too because after this we're going to go shoot in the garden. I thought I'd just quickly show you one of our photo shoots in here and then I can show you outside as well. I've just been putting on this makeup and I love it. This is the brand new Armani Neo Nude Foundation. True to Skin Natural Glow Foundation. And it is so beautiful. So I've just done like a full Armani IGTV. So if you want to know more about the products that I've used, go have a little look on in the throw on my IGTV because it's just on there. And I've just added another Armani lipstick on top. I can link it down below, but it's one of their really like, orangey kind of coral, bright corals to match with the dress. <laughs> so, right, let's get going, babe. <laughs> I love how we've got this here. I need to clean this. Yeah, it needs a really, really good clean. Can't see the We'll not talk about the fact Alex has broke this before. Tell him, I don't care. I've fixed it. I think he's done a pretty good job. I know, it's, it's fixed now somehow, but... I brought it down to do a shoot and um, I was just opening the, other, the outside door and I propped this up in the kitchen and I turned around for 30 seconds and came back and it was a massive smash and this thing had basically completely snapped off. How the, the actual mirror know. itself didn't shatter, but I've managed to stick it back together with this like special kind of glue. And then I like, had gold paint, paint on lying it. around, so I kind of just topped it up. Yeah, I don't know how you've managed to. <laughs> I think it looks better than before. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Let's get ready for shoot number two. We're going to take this that massive thing outside. I'm going to put on a much more casual outfit and um, take some more pictures. Obviously at the moment, we're not going away as much. We would usually shoot all of my blog posts when we're away on trips, whether that's beauty or fashion and whatnot. So um, we're just trying to make use of doing some lovely blog posts in the garden and around the house. Okay, outfit number four. Look how beautiful this is. So pretty. It's just like my other white. <laughs> Looks fabulous with the socks. Yeah, it's like the other white dress I've got. Same style, but with this lemon print, it's very Italian, it's very kind of like Dolce vibes. Got the big mirror out against the unruly bushes. Ta da! This looks so great! <laughs> shoot of the day done and we've got some pictures of Alex too and his new cool glasses he's got some new like he's got some cool like Kirk Bain vibe glasses right it is time for dinner 
the best time of the day. And today, it's week two, meaning Pastor Evangelist Day. I get these every other week. I've got like a subscription. This time, we have either, I think this one's like a lemon, like a lemon pasta. And then the other one, which I think we're gonna have tonight, this one's the crab. Ooh, crab pasta with like a garlic butter and samphire. I think we're gonna have this. And they sent that with, I think this is like a walnut, a walnut crumb. Okay, I'm gonna sit here just so that I don't rock the camera because you guys always say that I rock the camera a load. Um, right, I have something really exciting to tell you about. I have decided to host a giveaway. Sorry, I'm absolutely freezing. So I've decided to host a giveaway and it's gonna be worldwide, it's gonna be global and it is for anyone who is a frontline worker, anyone at the moment who is working to help others globally um, in this current crisis. I am super excited that this is going to be a giveaway with Bare Minerals. It's going to be an entire Bare Minerals face from skincare to literally face mist at the very end. I've chosen all the products, they're all my favourites, I've chosen all the different kind of colour products and then obviously whoever wins I will speak with them and ask them what their shades are for concealer, for powder, for foundation, etc. But the winner will get a full set of Bare Minerals makeup to do literally a full face from skincare up. It's, it's like £450 worth of makeup. It's a lot of beautiful products. I'm really, really excited about this. I adore Bare Minerals. And, and it was literally just last week, me and Rebecca were chatting and saying, what would be lovely to do? And I was like, well, wouldn't it be gorgeous to give someone like literally a full face of, of makeup and skincare from one of my favourite brands. So Bare Minerals are kindly helping me with this give giveaway and I am just thrilled. And I'm, I'm really, really excited about it because like I said, I don't really do giveaways very much. So if you have a friend who is currently a frontline worker, then I would love you to nominate them for this giveaway prize. As this video goes up today on Sunday, I'll be putting up an Instagram picture and it'll be a picture of me with a full face of Bare Minerals makeup. The giveaway mechanics is pretty much just, you can tag any of your friends who are frontline workers. If you're a frontline worker, you can tag yourself as many times as you like. So tag anyone that you know who you would love to win this prize. And if you share the picture onto your stories, again, tagging your friends over the top about the giveaway. I'll be choosing the winner in a week's time. But like I said, it's completely worldwide, it's global, we'll be sending this worldwide. So yeah, I'm really, really excited for someone that could really just do with a bit of cheering up to try this beautiful box of goodies. So yeah, just go along to my Instagram in the fro and then I'll be obviously looking through the comments and I'll also be looking through all of my shares of that image as well and choosing at random a winner and then I'll be able to send out the prize. I'll most likely be talking about this on next week's vlog when I know who the winner is. Good morning to you. Well, I'm in a fantastic mood this morning. I've woken up on the right side of the bed. I had a really fantastic over eight hours sleep probably. I got about half past seven and came straight down and it was beautiful weather. So I feel great. And now I've just made an avocado shake for me and Alex, one of my faves. And I've just finished my workout and watched a new episode of Hollywood. So I'm in an even better mood now. I had like swing music on this morning. I sang a little dance around. Feeling the positive vibes today after last week being a little bit down and a little bit unsure of how I was feeling. This week I'm feeling a lot more perky, which is great. So, yes, let me just check this is okay. Oh, that's good. Mm. Here you are, my lover. You've had a coffee this morning, you've got a shake. I'm just a wife with the most days. I'm gonna head upstairs, get ready, while Alex edits the vlog. Get myself quickly ready for the day and this is going to be the day when I do my Bare Minerals look for my Instagram picture. Just getting out all my Bare Minerals products, ready to do like a full face of Bare Minerals. Bare Pro, one of my favourite foundations, the Bare Pro foundation. I've got the Bare Pro concealer. I'm just going to do literally a full face, so 
yeah, I'll show you the whole look when I'm done. I am ready. Okay, actually, no, I'm not. I need to get my hair done. But full face of bare minerals. And I feel fabulous now. So I'm going to take some pictures for this picture that I'm going to put on my Instagram. So if you go to this picture, that is where you can find the giveaway and you can enter on that one. So I'm just going to go shoot this and I've got a video to film. Currently in the middle of filming a new how to in 10 in my closet and I'm loving it. I'm having so much fun just playing with some fashion actually. Um, I'm just putting together like different loungewear looks with you know outerwear accessories and whatnot. So if you've not seen that video, go and have a peek already. It's got loads of different ideas and tips in there of how to kind of like style up your loungewear and these like really comfy pieces that you might have bought for being in the house recently. It's about how to wear those after lockdown and I'm really, really enjoying it. And I love this look. If you wanna see this look, go watch that video. Dun, dun, dun. I'm just gonna put away all my bits and bobs now. That's the thing with filming fashion things. You end up using everything in your wardrobes and then, oh, oh, and then you've gotta put it all away. But that was really fun. I really enjoyed filming that actually. So I'll leave it linked down below or up on the screen or somewhere if you'd like to go and see. Ooh how to look more refined in your loungewear. Clean kitchen, banana bread in the oven, and Alex is now gonna come and make some fresh pasta. This has been a lovely, lovely day. I'm very happy with it. Banana bread, I forgot about banana bread. Pasta is done, and my banana bread is definitely done. That looks <laughs> Wine and pasta and my husband. So happy. Play it, Frank. Delicious tea. And now this day, this very positive day, is now being finished by a having a group chat with Carly and Leon. Carly, Rowena and Leon are some of our best mates and we haven't spoken to them in so long. So we're going to have like a little Zoom call with them now and catch up over a glass of jam shed. All of my red lip has completely gone. Good morning, guys. I'm looking very sleepy today. It is um, a lovely day today. Alex is outside mowing the lawn, which has gotten out of control again. Also, it still looks a complete and utter mess. We haven't had it all sorted out yet, but oh, our little Robin. Oh, the birds are so beautiful in this garden. It's made butterfly, just so nice. Ooh, and this little guy, what's that? Hello. Anyway, I've had a really nice morning. I've been on, oh, you can't even see me. I've had a really lovely morning. I have had a call this morning um, about a really exciting project I'm working on, a collaboration project. Um, I, I can't actually wait to tell you about it because it's super exciting. At the moment, I've got a few different projects that are ongoing, like big projects that are like huge and really exciting and different from anything I've ever done before. And uh, yeah, it's, it's obviously keeping me busy. It's often like the, the behind the scenes stuff. I bet when you see these vlogs, you sometimes feel you kind of know everything I'm up to and how busy I might be or not be. But actually behind the scenes, the amount of stuff I don't film and that I'm doing that I can't tell you about or, you know, can't elaborate on whatsoever yet because of embargoes and secrecy around different projects. It's kind of, it's a shame that I can't bring you along for a lot of it but quite a lot of the processes I'm going to be vlogging so that when things do launch and come out then you'll be able to kind of see the longer process I just can't really tell you about it right now I am quite busy behind the scenes doing x y and z at the moment but it's all really exciting exciting stuff so I had a, a call this morning for that I've had a lovely phone call with my dad which was great I've not seen my dad since Christmas day and um, I'm missing him massively I can't wait to see my dad so had a little chat with him and now I'm just editing up today's how to look more expensive, how to intend video for tonight's video. However, I've just had a delivery through from this brand, The Wine Workshop. It's a new, completely new brand that's kind of been born out of this whole situation. It's quite nice really that a few brands have popped up with this new idea of socialising and bringing people together due to this COVID situation. So the wine shop has been born and it's an online digital wine tasting session. Um, so me and Alex are joining tonight. I'm going to put a little dress on, I think, and just have a bit of a date night vibe with it. And the idea is that everyone logs in at the same time. Everyone has wine. 
So in fact, let's have a look inside here because I haven't even seen yet. I thought I'd save it. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we're in here. Got a little thing just to say, welcome. Oh look, it's like a little tasting card. The look of the wine, the aromas, the taste, and we can obviously like write things down about the different wines. The food has come from grape and fig and it says like what's inside here and for any allergies, which is great. This is adorable, it's just like a little, a small platterboard to go with the wine. So you've got olives and tomatoes and some cheese, goat's cheese that looks like, and some crackers and crisps and some fruit and some potato cakes. So I'll get that in the fridge. And then inside, oh wow. Inside we've got, this looks like a champagne. Got this, and we've got oh wow, Tyndall Vineyard Organic Reserve Sauvignon. That's my kind of wine. Oh wow, that looks amazing. Villa Strass Zweigelt. That must be German. Wow. So those are the three wines. So that we're going to be doing the the wine tasting with those. This is fantastic, and all comes all boxed up. I'm pretty sure when I signed up for this. By the way, it's just at thewineworkshop.club. Um, it's just a really nice thing to do, obviously from home right now. It just it gives you a bit of a date night. Because I also have I also have a beauty masterclass to do tonight with Bare Minerals. They're hosting like a beauty masterclass. Everyone's going to log in, and we're all going to do like a watch along and follow along with makeup. And then right after that, at eight ten, is this. So. Me and Alexa said, I'll, get, I'll be getting myself ready with my makeup on, come down, do the wine taste, and then we're going to watch a film and have a date night. I'm really excited about this, so I'll let you know how it goes. In fact, I might probably film a little bit of us on the call tonight so I can show you. So that's really exciting. I need to get this into the fridge, actually. This is a vegetarian platter, by the way. We Obviously, because we don't eat meat. Um, they do do a meat one as well, and you get, like, charcuterie and all that kind of thing. Oh, I'm going to start rabbiting on now. I need to carry on with this video. It's quite a long one. There's quite a lot of little flourishes to it. Um, but I'm really excited about it. I really enjoy filming it. And I'm excited to uh, see what you guys think of this video, actually, because it's just quite nice to do, like, a styling video for once. Okay, just about to jump on the same chat. Okay, all done. That was lovely, just an hour. Katie Jane Hughes was talking through, we literally had a full face, like there must have been 50 of us on there. Like I saw Josie, I saw Lucy and Lydia were on there, Zoe was on there, uh, Lily and Nana and so many people I've not seen in ages. You know, it's really funny. I really feel like this, this whole situation, like, these press events that we'd normally do somewhere else in London or at a beautiful restaurant or something. And obviously the amount of money that must cost for brands. And now they're able to do this from everyone's houses. It's like no cost. And yet you can still get to hear about the new products from Bare Minerals, whatever brand it may be. Like it's really quite a step forward in, in a way. It's a, it's a shame because it'll limit that social bonding time with people that we usually see, but at the same time, in terms of work, we get to see products super quick and you know. So actually it's a really quite efficient and effective way of doing it. So now I've got a full face of Bare Minerals using the original foundation and all their products, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, so I'm ready now for our wine night. Oh, what have I just put on? Okay, we're just setting up now for our wine club night. Putting all the wines out. We've got three different wines. Oh, Alex looks lovely. Gone for the, uh, the Zoom meeting thing. Flip pants and shirt, but grey hair though. Nice hair. <laughs> we are all set up with our little cracker cheese and olive board and our wines. And we've got champagne glasses, white wine glasses and red wine glasses. This is so nice. We are just going to sit here. Don't lean you on my red wine glass. Sit here and enjoy a little... A little evening, aren't we? I'm gonna join the Zoom chat. Tell you what, I wish I'd bought some shares in Zoom. I don't understand how you money though. Well, some people do pay for it. And as great as this wine is, the first thing I'm gonna say is that reserve means nothing uh, when it comes to wine. So it, it is made in that tiny little region, probably enough to call champagne mm -hmm. in northeastern France. Any sparkling wine that's made. Good morning, guys. I haven't filmed for a few days. And therefore, I haven't actually even really finished off this vlog. What is that? Honestly, why? Why does it take up this shape? I don't 
I don't understand. It's been a busy, really busy one this week and I feel like I've done loads of little snippets of quite a lot of the day. So it's been a, quite a nice overview. It's now Sunday morning and I'm in the gym. I'm gonna do a nice little workout. My legs are on fire. If you saw my stories yesterday, I did a workout in here on my own. I really got into it. Alex has bought this thing. I think it's called a landmine. And this was the bar we already had. And it's just like an attachment and you attach it to something really heavy. So we've put it underneath this thing. Yeah, you can just pick it up and you can do squats with it and stuff like that. And so that's what I was doing yesterday. I was doing different squats, holding on to that. And my legs, I can barely walk today, but it's good. That's always good when you've really kind of hit them hard and you know you can continue doing that and up in the weights and you know you're gonna get somewhere. So just today I feel rubbish. So I'm gonna have a really good stretch and I'm gonna put on this new show I started watching called Selling Sunset, I think it's called on Netflix. Just about people in LA that sell like the mega mansions in LA in the hills. So it's actually quite interesting. It's just funny how they try and make loads of drama out of the people the real estate agents, but it's it's quite fun to watch. So I'm going to put that on and I'm going to do, I'm probably going to do like a 10, 15 minute run on the treadmill and then I'll likely do some abs and then I'll probably do like a nice little like yoga session, like 15 minute yoga stretch session. I think it's a Sunday and we only have this vlog to edit today <laughs> and, um, and also I'm putting my giveaway live. So if you've not entered that, that I mentioned. I forgot to mention actually on, on the, when it comes to the giveaway, just make sure that when you tag people, you also leave a little comment just to say why you think they should win. I completely forgot to say that in the last thing. Tag all, all of your frontline working friends or tag yourself and just give me a comment as to why um, you would love to win or you feel your friend should win. Yeah, I completely forgot to say that, which is silly of me. That's how long I've, it's been since I did a giveaway. I'm very rusty at this. Anyway, I'm gonna love you and leave you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching this week. Um, it really means so much to me to see so many of you still watching my vlogs. It's it's amazing. So thank you so much for all of your support always. Um, I really hope you're all doing okay right now. Um, and it's been a better week for everybody. And I'll see you in my next one. Lots of love.